Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 2, Conservation and Momentum, Segment 4, Constitutive Relations. With me, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about fluid kinematics, conservation relations, and fluid statics. In this segment, we will discuss about constitutive relations. Newton's law of viscosity is an example of constitutive equations that provide the needed relations between the shear stress and the fluid velocity. Unlike a conservation relationship which is valid for all materials, a constitutive relationship is not universal and applies to a limited class of fluids. Experimental measurements are needed to derive constitutive relationships. The application of a shear stress to a control volume produces a deformation of the control volume, as shown in the left figure. During the time interval delta t, the angle changes to an amount of delta theta. For a fixed time interval, increasing the shear stress results in an increase in the angle by which the control volume is deformed. Thus, the shear stress is proportional to the rate of deformation and not the deformation itself. The rate of deformation can be written as shown in equation 20. The velocity gradient is known as the shear rate. Thus, constitutive relations take the form as shown in equation 21. Data are needed to specify the form of equation 21 for a particular fluid. The simplest possible relationship, albeit by many fluids, is a linear relation between shear stress and shear rate, as given by equation 22, where mu is the coefficient of proportionality viscosity. Fluids that obey equation 22 are known as Newtonian fluids, and the equation is often referred to as Newton's law of viscosity. Rheology is the branch of mechanics that studies the deformation of fluids. The distinction between Newtonian and non-Newtonian behavior can be explained in terms of the shear stress and the shear rate. In general, the apparent viscosity represents the ratio of the shear stress to the shear rate. For a Newtonian fluid, the apparent viscosity is a constant for all ratios of the shear stress and shear rate. However, the apparent viscosity changes with the shear rate and it is a function of temperature, pressure and shear rate. Non-Newtonian fluid can be categorized on the basis of the relationship between the shear stress and the shear rate or the behavior of apparent viscosity as a function of the shear rate. Bingham plastic a Bingham plastic does not flow until the applied stress exceeds the yield stress for the fluid. Power law fluids. In general, a power law fluid is a fluid for which the apparent viscosity is a function of the shear rate raised to a power. And the last one is viscoelastic. Some fluids exhibit both viscous and elastic properties. In response, to an applied force, such fluid exhibits both an instantaneous change in motion due to elastic behavior and a time-dependent deformation due to viscous behavior. Fluids that exhibit such behavior are termed viscoelastic. For the next segment, we will discuss about laminar and turbulent flow. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.